Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 17, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Time is running out. The 12 days of Christmas sale is almost over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. We are practically giving it away. Don't miss out on this one chance to save, invest in yourself and your family's well-being. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information on those platforms throughout the day that are not in the video. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert, and know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today. Iraq raises its investments in U.S. bonds to $32.7 billion in October. Direct, Iraq raised investments in U.S. Treasury bonds during October 2019 by 5.1% year-on-year, an increase of $1.6 billion. According to the monthly U.S. Treasury data, the value of Iraq's investments amounted to $32.7 billion at the end of last October compared to $31.1 billion in the same month in 2018. During last October, Iraq returned to raise its holdings of U.S. bonds, compared to its value of $32.5 billion in the previous month, September. And Iraq's investments in U.S. bonds fell 5.5% compared to its possession at the end of 2018, amounting to $34.6 billion. Iraq ranked fourth on the level of Arab countries in the list of American bond owners, after Saudi Arabia ranked first in the Arab world with the value of $178.9 billion, Kuwait again with $43.8 billion, then the United Arab Emirates with investments of $38.4 billion. Japan ranked first in U.S. Treasury bond investments with $1,168 billion, followed by China with $1,101.6 billion, then the United Kingdom with $334.1 billion. Next article of interest, Urgent Alabudi Alfred, tomorrow the candidate for Prime Minister will be decided, and an important constitutional amendment. The deputy from the Sadkun bloc expected Naim Alabudi to settle the candidate for Prime Minister tomorrow, Wednesday. There is an implicit consensus that there must be a prime minister ready for the elections for a period not exceeding one year and tomorrow night, there will be a prime minister, and there is a real will and direction to resolve the prime minister, night or tomorrow, and before the constitutional deadline that ends next Thursday is stressed, he said. Young people have a role in the next situation, but it needs those who prepare the early elections. He added. There are honest and competent personalities, but their party affiliation prevents their candidacy for prime minister. All that the media are discussing are merely unofficial nominations and should not be overlooked by legal contexts and the constitutional period is about to end and the movement continues to resolve tomorrow. He added, the demonstrators are different in determining the characteristics of the prime minister and the political class. They were mistaken in previous periods and should not be repeated. He added that embassies press to impose personalities for the prime minister and pressure to pass candidates in their favor in states must respect internal affairs and respect bilateral relations. al added, the Iraqi political decision suffers from disintegration and lack of trust between the political blocs and made the foreigner dare to interfere. He explained that the tasks of the next government will be limited to the authority to hold early elections, stressing that confining arms to the hand of the government will prevent chaos and there can be no stability unless this matter is achieved, especially heavy and medium weapons, and we do not believe that the transitional government is able to achieve this. He noted that al called for limiting the demonstrations to the designated areas and distinguishing peaceful ones from non-peaceful ones, noting that the violence witnessed in some governorates has confused the security situation and this should not affect the security file, and the law must be imposed and prohibited from deflecting demonstrations. He said, 
The demonstrations have achieved what political forces have not accomplished since 2003, noting that, we are studying the amendment of Article 76 of the Constitution regarding the largest bloc, meaning that alliances will be formed before and not after the elections. He stressed that, the real reform of the political process begins with the electoral law. The lack of confidence between the blocs made the Iraqi decision suffer from disintegration, and some are trying to drag the country into internal fighting, he added. On the U.S. sanctions against Iraqi personalities, including the Secretary General of the Asa'ibal al-Haq movement, Sheikh K. Ghazali, al abudi said that. He added, some wanted to drag the gangs of the people of truth into internal sectarian and national fighting and this will not be accepted and we will not be dragged to it. Next article of interest. Document. The Iraqi parliament meets tomorrow to vote on the legislative elections law. The Iraqi Council of Representatives is scheduled to hold a regular session tomorrow, Wednesday, to include voting on the draft legislative elections law. Hassan Karim Al-Kabi, the first deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, chaired earlier in the day a meeting of heads and representatives of parliamentary blocs to discuss the final touches of the draft law on the House of Representatives elections. A parliamentary source had reported that the parliamentary blocs had reached an agreement on the legislative elections law. The source said to Shafik News that the blocs agreed that the constituencies be multiple and the nomination is individual within the electoral law. In the previous session, the parliament failed to vote on this bill due to the differences between the parliamentary blocs on some of its paragraphs. Next article of interest. What are the reasons for Al Habaz's secret visit to Washington? What topics were discussed? Political sources confirmed, on Tuesday, December 17, 2019, that the quick visit of Speaker of Parliament Mohammed al-Halbousi to Washington with an American invitation to discuss the developments of the current situation was surprising to everyone. The visit of Speaker of Parliament Mohammed al-Halbousi to Washington took place in an atmosphere of secrecy, and we did not know about it until after he returned to Baghdad on Monday night, Hainan al qadu said of al-Fatah coalition in a statement to local media. Al Halbaz's visit does not depart from the purposes of addressing the political crisis that the country suffers from, and the arrangements for Iraqi officials with foreign countries, as each party or party seeks to seek power in this or that country, especially the United States, which mobilizes its influence in Iraq and seeks to gather followers and form a local lobby against harmony with its policies. He added that, the circumstances that Iraq is going through are difficult and sensitive, and that the visit was not without discussing the future of the political process and the personality of the next prime minister, noting that, such visits will be subject to doubts among the political forces, especially if they were not aware of them in advance. Baghdad and the southern cities invaded marches in protest against corruption, poor public services and unemployment. The demonstrators demanded the reform of the entire political system, which took power after 2003. Next article of interest. Weights are likely to be limited to the final competition for prime minister between a man and a woman. On Tuesday, Nada Shaker Jadat, a member of the House of Representatives, suggested that the final competitions for the position of prime minister be confined between a man and a woman revealing a representative meeting to be held today to filter the names presented. Jadat said in a statement to the information that 174 representatives from various politics signed a list calling for the selection of the next prime minister according to the condition of the Iraqi street, which is summarized by independence. She added that this number of deputies formed a parliamentary assembly that will have a loud voice in the council in voting on the next prime minister, noting that the assembly achieved several meetings with the mass movement in Baghdad and the provinces, as well as with trade unions, professional associations and civil society organizations, and obtained a group of names to run for office. She indicated that, the Assembly will discuss today those names in order to filter the names and reach an agreement on only two names confined to a woman and a man, and then it will be submitted to the President of the Republic to choose one of them. 
Next article of interest, by numbers, reveal the debts and foreign loans to Iraq. Reveal the Finance Committee in the House of Representatives to pay more than $20 billion of the size of external debt owed by Iraq. The head of the committee, Haytham al Jubari, said in a press statement that the foreign debt still on Iraq are $27 billion and $41 billion for Saudi Arabia are not recognized because they were debts given to the former president of the regime during the Iran Iraq War. He pointed out that the debts on Iraq were more than $50 billion, more than $20 billion were paid during the last period. For his part, MP Magda al Tamimi revealed the volume of foreign loans and borrowed from the World Bank and other external bodies to support investment and the budget deficit. Al Tamimi said, There is a loan in 2015 worth $1 billion and $200 million, and in 2016 there is a loan of $1 billion and $443 million, explaining that these loans in the two years above are borrowed from the World Bank to support the budget deficit. She added that there are other investment loans that were dispersed to some sectors, including health, education, roads, bridges, and ports, in addition to some of them for the reconstruction of the liberated areas. Other. She added that the total loans to support the investment amounted to $7 billion and $183 million, noting that there are also loans in Japanese yen and the euro as the yen loan amounted to 309 billion and 971 million yen, and the euro amounted to 646 million euros. Next article of interest. Kurdistan Region Announces the Christmas Holidays The Kurdistan Regional Government announced on Tuesday the suspension of official working hours in government departments and institutions for 11 days on the occasion of Christmas and the birth of Christ. The spokesman for the regional government, Goddard Adel, said in a statement today that the New Year's holiday begins on Wednesday, 25 December 2019, to Saturday, 4 January 2020. The spokesman explained that on Sunday, 5 January 2020, the official working hours will be resumed. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Oil. Kurdistan intends to claim Baghdad $100 million as an advance. The Parliamentary Oil and Energy Committee indicated, on Tuesday, that there are leaks regarding Kurdistan's intention to obtain $100 million from Baghdad as an advance to the region, ruling that Kurdistan will deliver oil imports according to the budget agreement. Member of the committee, MP Adi Awad, said in a statement to Information that there is concern about the sums that Kurdistan got from oil revenues during 2019, as a new agreement was concluded, and therefore it is necessary to know where the previous money went. He added that the smuggling of oil and the exploitation of funds by Kurdistan represent a contempt for the law and the state, as it should be distributed equally to the Iraqi people. He explained that the regional government took advantage of the current situation to pass what it aspires to, as there is no conviction in the process of handing over the oil imports that were agreed upon recently. And that, Kurdistan, in the event that oil revenues are delivered to Baghdad, it will put conditions on Baghdad, where there are leaks related to Kurdistan's tendency to request an advance from Baghdad of not less than $100 million in addition to the salaries of employees and the work of a new salary scale for the employees of the region, after which the region's thinking in delivering imports or not. Next article of interest. To international experts participate in drafting constitutional amendments. The Constitutional Amendments Committee held a meeting chaired by MP Fela Alsari, chairman of the committee, and its members attended yesterday, Monday, to complete the discussion of the amendments to the paragraphs of the Constitution, while hosting the technical director of the Institute of International Law and Human Rights. A statement of the Parliamentary Information Department stated that, during the 10th meeting held in the House of Representatives within the series of ongoing meetings, a number of constitutional clauses were reviewed and discussed within the sections of the basic principles, rights and freedoms as well as studying proposals, ideas and visions submitted by deputies, experts and specialists in the fields of law, constitutional systems and proposal citizens. 
The meeting presented a detailed vision regarding the proposed amendments to mature them, the promotion of rights and freedoms at the civil and political levels, and affirming the consolidation of the concept of citizenship. In the same context, the head of the Constitutional Amendments Committee, MP Fela Alsari, received the technical director of the International Law and Human Rights Institute, William Spencer, at the committee's headquarters, to discuss a number of points mentioned in the Constitution and ways of cooperation between the House of Representatives and the International Law Institute to reach results that increase the impact of the constitutional clauses on more effectively and serve the Iraqi people. In turn express the chairman of the committee welcomed the cooperation between the two sides, stressing that the Commission is ready to receive all the proposals and discussed access to the results of more acceptable. The parties agreed to involve two international experts from specialist SPECTA constitutions of the Commission to work with and assist in the drafting of. Next article of interest. The presidencies of Kurdistan call on the federal government to implement agreements and understandings with the region. The three presidencies were held in Kurdistan in the Kurdistan Region Presidency Building in Arbil, today, Tuesday, its second regular meeting. And the meeting came after the meeting was reported to Shafak News, that the meeting stressed the importance of unity and the unity of the political position of the Kurdish parties to face the situation, valuing the efforts of the presidency of the region to collect political parties and steps to form the Kurdistan Alliance bloc in Baghdad. The statement said that the meeting discussed the dialogues held by the Kurdistan regional government with the federal government and the price of the role of delegations and negotiation teams in the region's government, which resulted in an agreement with the Federal Ministry of Finance on the budget for 2020, calling on the federal government to implement the agreements and understandings reached with the region's government. The statement added that those present at the meeting expressed their support for the reform efforts undertaken by the regional government and highlighted the ISIS movements, especially in the disputed areas, stressing that the re-emergence of terrorism is a real threat and international cooperation and coordination must continue to confront it. The statement noted that the discussion of the draft electoral law and the law of the Independent High Commission for Elections in Iraq and the reform bill in the Kurdistan region was another section of the meeting. Like subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold and be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale before it's over. Use the promo code THEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Lock in your deal today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.